Thanks for being here. I'm John Erickson with your NBC 26 News Update. One of the women charged in the 2014 Slender Man stabbing attack is dropping her request for early release from a mental institution. Morgan Geyser is serving a 40-year sentence. Anissa Wire, the other girl convicted in this case, was granted early release last September. In state political news, turnout for Wisconsin's primary election on Tuesday neared 26 percent. That's the highest for a non-presidential primary in 40 years. Unofficial results show that more than 690,000 Republicans voted in the governor's race and more than 500,000 Democrats voted in the Senate primary on the Democratic side. Analysts say interest fell in the race won by Mandela Barnes after his top three challengers dropped out a few weeks ago. Drivers early Tuesday morning were met with a roadblock when several porta potties were left in the middle of the freeway in Waukesha County. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation shared this video showing drivers maneuvering around those porta potties on I-94 at Highway 164. The porta potties were taken off the roadway before 6:30 Tuesday morning. Let's turn to a check of our weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron. John, we have an absolutely beautiful day underway here in Northeast Wisconsin. We've got lots of sunshine. Temperatures are currently in the mid 70s and humidity levels are very, very comfortable with dew points down in the 40s and 50s. The heat we had yesterday has been suppressed to the southwest and south and it is not coming back anytime soon. In fact, tomorrow is going to be even cooler than today. We're going to see sun and clouds during the morning, gradually giving way to clouds. Maybe a shower, especially west of the Fox Valley with highs in the lower to mid 70s. For your latest news, sports and weather, make sure you download the NBC 26 News app. It's free. Just search for WGBA. Have a great day, everybody.